Cyclones. We're again moving from right to left as we see it here in the first half of play. And she will be joined by Anna Bell. First set. Tab controlled in front court by Ottawa. And the pass comes to Ball. What the lays it up in the end. That was a planned play right there by the Lady Cyclones. They got the ball to Maggie Bones. He forwarded the ball for the easy bucket. Bailey Aiken goes right side to Marissa Mackey. Out top it goes to Maggie Mackey. Left side to Aiken. Aiken being guarded by Riley Deal. And man defense. Ball knocked away, but taken by Marissa Mackey. Picked up Hutchinson. And now we've got a whistle. Ottawa went for a steal. and stepped on the sideline. So Lewisburg will retain possession. And a quick substitution for the Lady Wildcats. Brooke Vaughn comes in early to replace Bailey Aiken. And it comes to Vaughn, who had a nice game on the floor against Ottawa the first time. Picks up her dribble here, needs help. Looking, finds the backdoor cut, but the ball is off the hands of Hutchinson and stolen by Ottawa. Ball went across the 10 second line. Vaughn is on her, gets it off to Bones. Between the circles now to Deal. Deal to Baldwin, stops, pops the jumper, and hits it from 15 feet away. Jordan Baldwin has the first four Ottawa points. 7.03 to play in the first period. Here's Vaughn with it for Lewisburg across the timeline. Deal giving her some room out that far. Left side it goes to Maggie Mackey. Maggie Mackey drives the baseline, dumps in front of Bell, who shoots off the glass and through. Administration that time opened up Anna Bell for the easy bucket. 4-2 Ottawa. Baldwin swings it to Armstrong on the far sideline. Uh, circles to Rucker, now to Baldwin. Baldwin into the lane, stops, gets it off to Maggie Bones. Now Bones is the call for a double dribble call. First Cyclone turnover of the night. And a chance for Lewisburg to tie it with a 2 or take the lead with a 3. Bond into front court. Goes left side to Maggie Mackey. Mackey out top to Hutchison. Hutchison looks to penetrate. Knocked away by Deal. Here's a steal, Ottawa. And now Deal lost control of the ball. Needs to get it someplace. And it's going to be finally tied up. The teams will trade turnovers as the possession arrow favors Lewisburg. I'll check that. It will not be a turnover on Ottawa. It's going to be a foul called on Lark Hutchison. Out the way at Lady Cass. So Ottawa retains possession. Possession arrow is correct. I don't know what the referee was looking at, but the possession arrow is correct. And it comes to Baldwin. Baldwin, a center step move out here in midcourt. Now takes it out top. Gives it off the deal. They try to force it inside. That pass is stolen. Here's a pass ahead to Bertha Mackey, who puts it off the glass and through. Ottawa did not rotate back well on defense that time. It's tied up at four. Baldwin into the lane through a pass, bagging his bones, and will be out of bounds. Another turnover on the Cyclones. And Jocelyn Dean replaces Riley Deal for Ottawa High. On calling the play. There's an illegal screen set by. Marissa back. That'll be her first personal foul. And turnover number three on Lewisburg. Baldwin with the pink headband on tonight, as do all of the Lady Cyclones. Takes it to the baseline, dumps down low to Armstrong, who missed the shot. Rebound taken by Marissa Max. There's a Mackey in the front court. There's a long pass down for it. It's off the hands of Bell, and it goes out of bounds. And Blissford turns it over again. 4-4 tie. We have 5-18 to play first quarter. And now the Lady Cats will set up full court pressure. Bounce into Baldwin. They'll immediately back out of that pressure. Baldwin on the right sideline. Hands it off to Dean. Dean picks up her dribble. Needs help. And it gets it over to Baldwin. Baldwin stops. Three-pointer from the baseline is good. 
Jordan Falls has all seven out of the points. Cyclones up by three. Vaughn looks for a kick out high. Now picks up her dribble. Goes cross court to Marissa Mackey. Mackey to Vaughn between the circles. Now to Maggie Mackey near the far sideline. Back over to Vaughn. They swing it around right side to Marissa Mackey. Skip pass to Bell. Bell drives baseline and travels with it. Five early turnovers on the Lady Cats. We have 4.29 to play first period. 7-4 to Ottawa. Rucker looks to get it in. And does to Baldwin. Clears Ottawa gets that basketball in. They back off Baldwin. Behind the back dribble by Short. Takes it to the top of the circle. Takes it to the right block. Puts up the jumper. Hits it. She fouled. That will be called against McLaughlin. Here's Elsie Bones in for Ottawa, replacing Hope Armstrong. Free throw for Jordan Baldwin. It's up and in. She's already in double figures. And the four Lady Cyclone. Vaughn, looking to penetrate. Ball knocked away by Baldwin on the floor. Finally taken by Lewisburg. Get pass out to Hutchison, who drives baseline. Her running one-hander is good, and she is fouled. Very similar to the shot that Baldwin made at the other end. Foul's going to be against Maggie Bones. And a chance for Hutchison to pick up a three-point play and cut the deficit down to three. And for the Wildcats, the Emily Lindholm. Free throw by Lark Hutchison. It's short. And rebound. And we're going to tie up on the rebound. No, Alex is going out of bounds. It's going to belong to Lewisburg. Ottawa did not go after the basketball. The Lady Cats get it back to the left of their basket along the baseline. And it comes to Hutchison. Makes the three. Now pumps a two. Missed that too hard. Baldwin has the rebound for Ottawa. Here she comes up the near sideline. Pass down low to Rucker. Missed the shot. And pulled away by Annabelle. Ahead it comes now. Here's uh, numbers for Lewisburg. A three on two. Hudson all the way to the bucket. And then she will be called for a travel. <laughs> Baseball pass is going to be... Taken by Baldwin. She'll drive into the lane, shoot the jumper, and hit it. Nice pass by Rucker to lead Baldwin without throwing the ball out of bounds. And Jordan Baldwin has 12 here early. Vaughn calls the play. Ottawa by six, 325 to play in the quarter. Between the circles, it's Marissa Mackey. Now cutting is Lenski. Over goes to Bell, and she traveled again. Carly Houchin in the lineup for the Cats. And the Cyclones will send in Paige Widener, Riley Deal, and Kylie Fisher. Widener looking to inbound. Bounces in to Baldwin, who's now picked up by Houchin. Baldwin beats her on the dribble across the timeline. Now gives it off to Widener, top of the circle, back to Baldwin. Entry pass is knocked away and a steal by Lewisburg. Trying to get it inside to Elsie Bones with a good defensive play. Here's Vaughn over to Hutchinson. Hutchinson being guarded by Baldwin. Houchin on the right wing. Looks down low for Bell, finds her. Bell gets it across to Lemke, who drives on Fisher, finds Bell underneath for the easy shot. Kylie Fisher... Gave up the baseline too easily that time, and it was an easy basket for the Lady Wildcats. Here's Fisher in the front court. Gives it off to Baldwin, who has not gotten across the timeline, and another mistake there by Fisher. Turnover number five on Ottawa. Here's Madison Wirtz into the Lady Wildcat lineup. 12-8 ball game, 2.26 to play in the period. 
gone over to Houchin, now to Hutchison in the corner at Houchin, bounces on the block to Bell, who goes to the basket, missed the shot, tipped around, Bell got it back and scored. Heck comes Baldwin down the sideline, spins across the timeline now, looks against Houchin, takes it in, jumper is good for 12. Ottawa back up four. We're inside two minutes to go in the period. Bounce right side for Lemke. Now up to Houchin. Baseline shot misses. And ball with rebounds. She's got Bones ahead. Elsie Bones will try to run it down. Does, but then she gets it over to Fisher. I thought that was a travel. Widener outside the ball. One shot for three is off the mark. And rebounded by Hutchison for Lewisburg. Works with it. Cross court it goes to Hutchison. Hutchison looks, knocked away by Baldwin. It goes out of bounds. In for Ottawa, Hope Armstrong. She'll replace Elsie Bone. Out should inbound just to the left of the Ottawa bench. In to work. Still picks her up. Works. Right side it goes to Hutchison. Ball on the baseline. Hatchet off her hands out of bounds. Turn over number eight on Lewisburg tonight. Comes in to Armstrong. Now to Baldwin. Thought about going deep to Fisher, but decided against it. We'll walk it across the 10 second line. Looks for a pick from Widener. Got it. Took it the other direction. Goes to the basket and scores, and she's fouled. Called on Mark Hutchinson for second person. He foul number four against the Wildcats. We have a substitution coming in, but it's going to be for Baldwin. So Baldwin with a chance to complete the three point play. And she hits that one. She'll give way now to Maggie Bone. Wow, 17 first quarter points for Jordan Baldwin. She averages just a little over 20. And she's gotten that all in the context of the offense. Works with it. Oh, nearly lost it. Now we have a whistle and a pushing foul against Ottawa. As Works tried to penetrate. Foul's going to be called against Maggie Bones. That's her second. Let's see if Cliff McCullough makes a change. He does not. Here comes to Hutchison. Now over to Lemke. Works with it. Brings it out near midcourt with 37 on the clock. Out of up seven. Bounce right side to Houchin. Houchin looks down low. Then has to go out top on the high post to Bell. Now to Works. Out top to Lemke. Drives to the free throw line. Needs help. And a traveling violation on Madison Works. Jocelyn Dean will come in for Ottawa. Maggie Bones will go to the bench with the two personal. 21 seconds to play in the period. In it comes to Deal, who gives it off to Dean. Here's a three on two for Ottawa. Dean will go to the basket, have her shot blocked by Bell, and Bell pulls it away. 10 seconds to go in the quarter. Works quickly across the timeline over to Houchin. Houchin with four seconds, three, and she throws out of bounds with two and a half to go. And Ottawa with two and a half seconds to play in the period to see if they get any kind of a shot off. Widener has her pass stolen. Stop by Couch and misses, fortunately, but that's the end of the first period. The score at the end of one is Ottawa 17 and Lewisburg 10. We're back after this one-minute break. You're listening to Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. Your home is your castle and you need to take care of that castle, no matter how big or small it is. So when it's time to call an electrician, why not choose the best? Call the professionals at Performance Electric. They offer service jobs. Maybe you have a remodel. In addition, you need to have rewired. Or maybe you have a large farm job and need a large bucket truck. They can do that, too. The licensed electricians at Performance Electric can get in, get your job done quickly and correctly. 
Give them a call today. Performance Electric, 242-5748. After an accident, call 1-800-CARSTAR. They'll send the tow truck and arrange for a rental car anytime, day or night. CARSTAR will even contact a family member and your insurance agent. Every time you call, you'll get a real person. 1-800-CARSTAR, remember that number. CARSTAR backs their repairs with a nationwide warranty. So no matter where you go, you'll have peace of mind for down the road. CARSTAR, they'll repair your car right, right on time. Dealing with an accident can be a hassle. Let CARSTAR handle it. Call 1-800-CARSTAR. Ottawa leads in 17 to 10 as we go to the second period. George Baldwin has all 17 Ottawa points. She's back out on the floor along with Deal, Rucker, Maggie Bone, and Armstrong, the starting five. And for Lewisburg, it's Marissa Mackey, Vaughn, Bell, Brooke Frazier's in for the first time, and Maggie Mackey. Six points for Anna Bell leads to Lady Wildcats. Vaughn goes near the near sideline to Maggie Mackey, and it's a turnover. She steps on the sideline. Lewisburg already with 11 turnovers in this game. Baldwin pushes it up court, now being guarded by Maggie Mackey. Dribbles to the top of the circle, gets a pick, stops, stops the jumper, missed it too hard next time. Rucker kicks it back out to Deal. Deal will drive, her shot from 10, rattles out. Frazier has the rebound. Did a nice ball screen that time for Deal, but she couldn't get the shot to fall. Here's Vaughn over near the sidelines to Marissa Mackey to Bell. Bell looks down low. Swings it down low to Frazier, whistle, and a traveling violation on Brooke Frazier. Seven seventeen to play in the half. Ottawa leads by seven with the basketball. Here's Baldwin in the front court. Gives it off to Maggie Bones along the baseline. Had the ball knocked away, got it back, and should be called for a travel, but they did. They say because the ball was knocked out of her hands, she was okay. And Maggie Bones with the 10 foot jumper puts Ottawa on top 19 to 10. Near the far sidelines, it's Maggie Mackey down low to Frazier. Shoots and misses too hard. And saved by Frazier. She'll go up once again with the right hand and miss. And Baldwin has the rebound for the Lady Cyclones. Baldwin up for it quickly. Spins into the lane. Gives it off to Deal. Deal dumps down low to Armstrong. Armstrong, fall away, jumper, misses everything, but Bones is there for the putback. And Ottawa up 11, 21 to 10, 627 to play, first half. Vaughn across the sideline. Over to Marissa Mackey. Down low, pass knocked away by Maggie Bones, and it's Deal Ottawa. Bones risked her third foul right there and managed to come away with the steal. She's with the basketball, finds Rucker at the free throw line. Rucker needs help, finds Bones along the baseline, 10 for her good. <laughs> Lady Cyclones takes control of this game here in the second period. They're up 23 to 10. Vaughn with it. Looking to get away from Deal now. Penetrates into the lane, shoots, and off the glass, good. Deal allowed Vaughn that time to penetrate. And Vaughn hits her first two. Ahead it comes to Maggie Bones. Free throw line to Rucker. Rucker double team. Ball knocked away on the floor and stolen by Maggie Mackey. Mackey ahead to Marissa Mackey along the baseline. Gives it to Maggie Mackey. Her 10 footer is too hard. Baldwin has the rebound. Here she comes up court. Three on three. Now four on three. Baldwin to the baseline. Looks for help. Finds Rucker. Her 10 foot shot misses everything. Deal has the rebound over to Armstrong. Shot was blocked, and Marissa Mackey saved it into Maggie Mackey's hand. Vaughn to the Lady Cats. Left side to Mackey. That's Maggie Mackey. Looks for Frazier posting up. Frazier, skip pass, knocked away, but taken by Bell. Back out it goes to Maggie Mackey to Marissa Mackey, who got away with a walk. She drives in, gets it off to Bell. 15-footer Bell is off the mark. Rebound to Vaughn, back up, and scores. And timeout ball for by Cliff McCullough with 4.38 to play in the first half. The score is Ottawa 23, Lewisburg 14. We're back in 30 seconds. You're risking the Cyclone basketball on KOFO. The Walmart Distribution Center is a proud sponsor of this Ottawa High Basketball broadcast and wishes the team good luck in the game today. 
As a leader in the community, the Walmart Distribution Center encourages and supports the students at the area schools in their academic and athletic endeavors. The Walmart Distribution Center recognizes the students of today are tomorrow's leaders. Best of luck to the Ottawa High School basketball team from the Walmart Distribution Center. Ottawa built a 23 to 10 lead, then looks for a couple of buckets on the inside, and looks the fella asks for timeout. Jocelyn Steen comes into the Ottawa lineup, replacing Riley Beal. Where's Baldwin? Looks to move on Maggie Mackey. Gets a pick from Bones. Takes it in. Jumps down low to Elsie Bones, who's back in the Cyclone lineup. First, we'll have a foul on Lewisburg. Foul's going to be called against Brooks Frazier, her first, the team's fifth. Dean will inbound for the Cyclone. Gets it into Rucker. Rucker looks for help. Finds Maggie Bones outside the arc. Now left side to Baldwin. Spins to the baseline. Stops it and it's half stolen. Here comes Lewisburg back the other way. They'll slow things up. Marissa Mackey over to Maggie Mackey. Now Vaughn outside the arc, right wing. Guarded by Dean, penetrates, and Dean will foul her on the floor before the shot. Jocelyn Dean picks up her first foul, team foul number three. 4.05 to play before half, Ottawa by nine. Vaughn just to the left of the Lewisburg basket will inbound. It's been to Bell. Bell along the baseline, missed short. Dean has the rebound and a foul over the back on Hannah Bell. For Bell, her first personal. And 16 fouls now as back into the Lewisburg lineup comes Mark Hutchison. Baldwin calls play number three as she brings it up court. Spins on Maggie Mackey, takes it to the right block. Looks for help along the baseline. It goes to Bones, who missed the shot. Maggie Bones off the mark. Had a ball out of bounds. It was last touched by Boo, the referee conferring. Ottawa. Wildcats again looking to cut into the Ottawa lead. 23-14. Lady Cyclones with 3.38 to play in the first half. Hutchison with it, guarded by Rucker. Gives it up now to Maggie Mackey, over to Vaughn. Vaughn with Dean on her. Looks to penetrate, reverses her dribble. Knocked away by Dean, but they'll follow for a reach. Second foul on Jocelyn Dean. And the fourth Ottawa team foul. Lemke back in for Lewisburg, replacing Maggie Mackey. And it comes to Hutchinson, who nearly lost it. Rucker made a nice spin to play. Now she drives, kicks along the baseline to Marissa Mackey. Mackey out top to Vaughn. Vaughn, left side, Lemke. Lemke looks. Lemke over to Vaughn, and back between the circles to... Lemke to Hutchison, driving, knocked away, out of, no, saved by Brooks Vaughn. He'll shoot a three, miss it too hard, and Baldwin has the rebound, and we've got an official timeout as Jocelyn Dean got hit in the head. So Ottawa will send in Paige Weidner and Riley Beal on the official timeout. 2.58 to play in the half, Ottawa leads by nine. Cyclones in the front court. Back door cut to Maggie Bones is off the hands of Ottawa and out of bounds. They were looking for something that really wasn't there that time. And Ottawa turns it over for the ninth time. Vaughn looks to penetrate on Deal. Spins on Deal. Dumps down low to Bell. Bell shoots and is fouled.
That's on L.C. Bones and a shooting foul, so Bell will have a couple of free throws here. Bell's free throw misses. Second one is off the heel and back down through. 5-0 run by the Lady Cat. Ottawa's gone quite a bit of the time here now without a bucket. Baldwin on the right wing. Outside it goes to Steele. Steele looks to drive. Dumps down low to L.C. Bone. Shot is good and a foul. Good play right there by L.C. Bone. And a nice pass by Beal. Bell picks up her second foul. Bones can complete a three-point play. Elsie's free throw is not good. It's rebound to Marissa Mackey. Vaughn with it. Over the situation. Gives it off now to Hutchison. Hutchison, a runner. This is short. Late foul call on Ottawa. Cyclone foul on Maggie Bone. She picks up her third. And Lark Hutchinson will be at the free throw line, shooting a couple. She is 0 for 1 from the line, having two points. First one rolls in. Kylie Fisher replaces Bone. Brooke Frazier in for Anna Bell. Second free throw for Lark Hutchison is good. 25-17, Cyclones by eight. They led by seven at the quarter. Now top of Steele. Steele, look. Free throw line to Widener. Now to Elsie Bones. Nice move by Elsie. Shoots the distance, but she'll go back to the line. Elsie faked the shot, got the defender in the air, and went to the bucket. Foul will be called on Emily Lemke. by Elsie Bones is good. She has three. Cyclones fight nine. A minute 49 to play before intermission. Second one for Bones. Good. Vaughn looking to penetrate right off the bat. Gets it off now to Mackey over to Hutchison. Back to Mackey to look down low for Frazier instead go right side to Lemke. Now Mackey cross court to Hutchison into the lane. Runner on the move. No good. Rebound taken by Widener for Ottawa. Nice impressive play there by Paige Widener off that tip ball. There's a spin by Baldwin. Here we lost it. Got it over to Widener. Back to Baldwin. Baldwin looks for movement. Outside the arc gives it to Deal. Deal. Lost control. Back out to Baldwin. Jordan, a 17-footer, no good. Rebound comes out to Lemke. Here's Lemke up court. Lemke bounces it to Hutchison. Hutchison going to the bucket and misses. And she called for an offensive foul. And that was Elsie Bones that got there with the defensive positioning. It was a close call, but it went out of his way. And it's the third foul on Hutchison and the 14th turnover on Lewisburg. About a minute to play in the half. Ottawa by 10 with the basketball. Baldwin looking over the situation. They give a lot of room by Marissa Mackey. Now to Widener. Back to Baldwin. Ottawa not moving much on offense right now. Widener between the circles. Gives it back to Baldwin. 40 on the clock. Baldwin to the base line. Gives it back outside to Widener. Cross court it goes to Deal. Field back into Baldwin's hands. Here's Jordan driving to the bucket, shooting, and rimming it in. 19 for Baldwin. We're down to 22 and a half. Vaughn with it. Foul by Riley Deal. Vaughn will be at the line, shooting one and one. His bottle was seven team foul. Free 
Great throw by Vaughn is no good. Frazier out wrestles there by for the rebound. Shoots and misses. Rebound taken by Baldwin for Ottawa. 12 on the clock. Baldwin with 10 now. Eight. Six now. Baldwin looking for a screen. Got one from Elsie Bones, but she's going to get something off here quickly. She'll throw up a wild one-hander and then misses at the buzzer. At the half, it's Ottawa 29 and Lewisburg 17. We'll be back in two minutes. You're listening to Cyclone Basketball on 1220 Century KOFO. Whether you're looking for a front load or top load washer, Maytag Brand and Wygant's Brand Source have a solution that includes the best cleaning in the industry enabled by Power Wash. The Power Wash cycle uses a three-step attack to get out difficult stains like coffee, grass, and orange soda. So if you're looking for the best cleaning in the industry to tackle your dirtiest loads and remove tough soils and stubborn stains, then visit Wygan's Brand Source, located at 419 South Main in downtown Ottawa. From People's Bank Field at Ottawa University to basketball halftime promotions to throwing out souvenir footballs, we at People's believe that public schools and collegiate sports add a quality of life to our area. Hi, this is Margie Hindeleiter with People's Bank in Ottawa. And just like our commitment to these sports teams, we are committed to helping you reach your financial goals. I invite you to come see what Banking Unusual can mean for you. With two Ottawa locations and seven other locations across Northeast Kansas, you're banking with people you know and trust. Check us out online at bankingunusual.com, where you can make 24 hours a day from almost anywhere. People's Bank, member FDIC. That's right. February is now February. Every mouthwatering moment of every delicious day, all month long, any regular footlong is a $5 footlong. From the double bacon, egg, and cheese on flatbread to the chicken and bacon ranch. Come on, join the celebration. Excludes premium sandwiches. Prices and participation may vary. All right, ladies, no time to be hiding behind those sweatshirts and sweatpants. It's time to get ready for bikini season. Yep, I said it. Let's get those bikini bodies ready. Join the Ottawa Nautilus today. They offer aerobics classes, everything from Zumba to step to kickboxing and Pilates. They have weight machines, free weights, and treadmills with TVs on them. So what are you waiting for? Call the Ottawa Nautilus today at 242-3537 and start getting ready for bikini season. Half time of the girls' game, and it's Ottawa 29, Lewisburg 17. Cyclone plus 17 to 10 at the end of the quarter. Jordan Baldwin had all 17 Ottawa points. Ottawa raised the advantage to 23 to 10 as Maggie Bones hit three baskets in the second period. Then Lewisburg went on a 5 0 run to cut it to 23 to 15. But Ottawa then outscored the Lady Cats 6 to 2 to end the half and lead by a dozen here, 29 to 17. Boys' action will follow here. It's pink, pink tonight. And a lot of pink in the uh, crowd this evening. The girls wearing pink socks. And uh, we also have the lasagna dinner going on until about 7. So you better get out here pretty quickly if you're going to enjoy that. But it was very good food being sponsored by the After Frost Committee. Tonight on KOFO.com, it's the game of the week as Bob Johnson is down in Anderson County to bring you the Central Heights Anderson County Pioneer League matchup. On our way right now at KOFO.com. Log on to the sports page and then follow the link to the game of the week and the Osage County game of the week on KMXN 92.9 HD2 FM as Hartford at Linden this evening. And Tim Burgess brings you that ball game on KMXN again 92.9 FM HD2 High Definition Radio, Crystal Clear Signal, Hartford and Linden tonight on that with Tim Burgess. Don't forget to join us after the uh, conclusion of our game for the high school basketball scoreboard show. As it's 10 6 tonight with Eric Peterson every Friday night. Eric takes you around the state. Nation such as KOFO will file reports of uh, teams in the area and let you know what's going on in high school basketball action. So keep your radio tuned to KOFO tonight following the 10 o'clock news for the high school basketball scoreboard show. At halftime here, it's Ottawa 29, Lewisburg 17. We'll be back in two minutes. This is Ottawa High Basketball on KOFO. Sales, service, savings, always the Sears of Ottawa. All the top brands like Kenmore, GE, Whirlpool, Maytag, Frigidaire, LG, Amana, and KitchenAid. Washers and dryers, dishwashers, refrigerators and freezers, ranges, cooktops, and built-in ovens. Side-by-sides are ice makers. You'll find it at Sears, and that's just for the kitchen. 
Sears now offers mattresses, Serta, and Sears Opedic. Stop by Sears for home appliances, entertainment, lawn and garden, mattresses, and everybody's favorite tools. Sears in downtown Ottawa. Dengel and Sun Mortuary has been a part of this community for more than 60 years. Our building and facilities may have grown and changed during those years, but our goal has never changed. Our goal is to provide the very best in funeral service. That goal does not waver, but the method to achieve that goal is consistently evolving because the needs of our families are consistently changing. We can meet that goal because we have the finest staff any funeral home could hope to assemble. There are people, your friends and neighbors, who are caring, compassionate, smart, and innovative, and they embrace the challenge. If you like banking online, you'll appreciate free online and mobile banking at greatsouthernbank.com. If you like banking face-to-face, you'll appreciate our extended lobby and drive through hours. And if you like cash on the go, we've got you covered with a free 24-hour ATM in South Ottawa. Hi, I'm Beth with Great Southern. And if convenience is important to you, we've got the best checking in town. Great Southern Bank is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Get more for your money. From a minor fender bender to a major repair, Dale's Body Shop owner Rod Ball warrants his repair service for a year. Always using only quality parts and DuPont paint for the very best job for you. Matching a color, not a problem. At Dale's, they mix the color in-house for the perfect match. Dale's Body Shop is open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturdays by appointment. For your next repair, call the all-around nice guys with only bake booth in Ottawa at Dale's Body Shop at 242-6225. Eric, this is Cyclone Gymnasium. We're out of the leads at the half of the girls' game. 29-17, Ottawa on the road three times next week, Sunday at Spring Hill, Tuesday at Paola, and Friday at Baldwin. We'll have all that action for you here on 1220 Country. Six o'clock, ladies tip off each night, so we'll be on the air around 5.50 with our free game, and the guys will follow it around 7.30. Join us for high school basketball Monday, Tuesday, and Friday next week, Ottawa High Basketball here on KOFO. Tomorrow we have college basketball to make a Wildcats take on Silver Stockton. Uh, at Baldwin City, tip off for the ladies at 2 o'clock. The guys will follow at 4 o'clock. Tom Hendrick has the play-by-play call of Baker basketball here on KOFO. Then we'll take you over to Ottawa's Wilson Fieldhouse for the matchup between the Braves and the Sterling Warriors. Ladies play at 5. We'll join that game in progress. And then at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, the Braves will take on the Sterling Warrior men. And Bob Johnson has the play-by-play call of Ottawa University basketball here on KLFO. Halftime scoring looks like this. For Lewisburg, seven points for Anna Bell. Four apiece for Lark Hutchinson and Brooke Vaughn. Two for Marissa Mackey. Ottawa got 19 in the first half from Jordan Baldwin. Maggie Bones had six healthy bones with four. Nine first half turnovers for Ottawa, 14 for Lewisburg. Bobcats shot three of six from the free throw line for 50%. Ottawa was four for five, 80%. Foul troubles, three fouls for Lark Hutchison, two for Annabelle for Lewisburg, three for Maggie Bones for Ottawa, and two for Jocelyn Dean. Half time, 29 to 17, Ottawa by 12. Back with the second half in two minutes. You're listening to Ottawa High School Basketball on KOFO. I could give you many reasons why you should shop at Country Mart in Ottawa. But one of the main reasons is because of what Gary and Cindy Jones give back to our community. The Ottawa Country Mart is always supporting area organizations and activities, always sponsoring community events and giving scholarships to area students. Yes, you can buy groceries other places in Ottawa, but will you find the community support that you find at Ottawa Country Mart? Country Mart, your locally owned hometown grocery store in South Ottawa. Did you know that CarStar offers free accident assistance, including arranging a tow and contacting a family member or your insurance agent? Did you know that CarStar offers 90 days, same as cash financing for your deductible or total repair bill? You can't schedule an accident, but you can take your vehicle to a company that will work hard to get you back on the road in a short amount of time. Call CarStar in downtown Ottawa. They work with all insurance companies and will provide you with the best quality collision service. Call 242-8916. Bones Transportation is proud to be a sponsor of Ottawa High School Basketball on KOFO. We're pleased to bring you local sports as it happens. KOFO invites you to tune in also for the latest in news and weather every day. Plus, be sure to check out the KOFO website at kofo.com for the current obituaries, county and city commissions, what's happening on the police scanner, and so much more. KOFO 1220 Country. Community people, people now. 
Bank not only helps you financially, but also has a plan to help you brave the winter weather. Get a 34-piece winter auto emergency kit when you open a free account at KSB. Already a customer? Ask how you, too, can receive this free gift. Kansas State Bank, building friends, families, and futures. Member FDIC. Ottawa will get the basketball first here in the second half. They send out their starting five. Deal, Baldwin, Maggie Bones, Rucker, and Armstrong. Cyclops will move left to right here in the second half as we see it. And Valerie Still will counter here in just a second. And it will be Lefty Hutchison, Marissa Mackey, Maggie Mackey, and Bell. Way in the second half, Jordan Baldwin with the basketball. Out this far sideline to deal. Underneath the pass is stolen by Marissa Mackey. Comes ahead now to Hutchison. Hutchison gets it down low to Bell. Nice catch in traffic. Shoots and misses. Rebound fought for tie up. Possession to Lewisburg. He will inbound along the baseline. Comes in to Hutchman, fakes the three, shoots the two, misses badly, rebound to Armstrong, ahead to Baldwin. She'll go one on one against Maggie Mackey, shoot and miss, rebound taken by Maggie Bones, gives it off now to Deal. Deal from 10, no good, but followed by Alexis Rucker, who's up and in. First two of the night for Rucker. 31-17, the biggest lead of the night for Ottawa. Here's a pass ahead to Maggie Mackey. Takes it into the lane, dumps down low, pass stolen by Maggie Bones. Baldwin on the dribble to the top of the circle, gives it off to Bones. Bones shot for 15 is in. Eight for Maggie, 33-17. Marissa Mackey running the point now. For Lewisburg. Over it goes to Hutchison. Between the circles, Lemke. Right side, Marissa Mackey. Free throw line, Maggie Mackey. Drives around Rucker. Shoots and misses, but a foul. And that may be Maggie Bones' fourth. Maggie Bones had no business picking up that foul right there. She picks up her fourth one. And Cliff McCullough has to go to his bench. Apparently, Fisher will come in after the first free throw. Free throw is good. Maggie Bones has been a fine player for Ottawa High, but she is foul prone. And she picks up her fourth here early in the third period. Let's see how that affects Ottawa. Second free throw, short. Rebound, Jordan Baldwin. 33-18, Lady Cyclones. Let's deal with it. Dumps down low. Pass off the hands of Rucker, but taken by Armstrong. Now Rucker on the high post is fouled by Marissa Mackey. Second foul on Marissa Mackey, first team foul on Lewisburg. Armstrong looks to get it in. Bounces it into Baldwin. Baldwin hands it off to Fisher. Fisher out top to Deal. Deal dumps down low and overthrows. Rucker out of bounds. Turnover number 11 on Ottawa. So Mackey looks over to the bench for a play. Popping out is Lemke. That piece is tripped by Deal. Riley Deal picks up first, second. Team foul number two. Marissa Mackey will inbound. Gets it in between the circles to Lemke. There's an illegal screen set by Bell, but no whistle. In the corner, it's Hutchison. Hutchison 
Back over to Bell in the corner. I'm sorry, Lindsay drives into the lane, shoots it, misses too hard. And the ball is going to be taken by Lewisburg. Baldwin got fouled. There was no whistles there either. Maggie Mackey out high. Drives into the lane. Gives it off to Marissa Mackey. Marissa Mackey, right side to Hutchison. In the corner, Marissa Mackey. Takes it in the lane. On the run. Jumper good. Marissa Mackey picks up her fourth point. Rucker with it. Moves it back over to Baldwin. Jordan will bring it up court. Spins into the lane. Takes it to the pocket. Off balance shot misses. And a foul on the rebound called against Baldwin of Ottawa. First foul on Baldwin and the third Ottawa team foul. 5.08 to play. In the third period, Ottawa by 13. Marissa Mackey. Goes right side to Hutchinson, right corner to Bell. Bell bounces along the blocks, and it's out of bounds off Lewisburg. Jocelyn Dean in. Oh, now they changed their mind. That's very tall, though. Jocelyn Dean in replacing Riley Deal for Ottawa. The, the uh, referee had his directions mixed up there. It was the right call. And it comes to Hutchinson. Shoots from 15 and misses. Rebound inside to Marissa Mackey. That one won't go. And Dean has it for Ottawa. And then Dean throws it right in the hand of Hutchinson. And Dean commits her third personal foul. Cyclones can't afford to get sloppy with the basketball. That was Dean just trying to bounce it over to Baldwin. 12 turnovers on the night on the Lady Cyclones. Lemke, left side to Hutchison. Hutchison in the lane, gives it off to Lemke. Three ball on the way, too hard. Baldwin rebounds for Ottawa. Has Dean ahead, didn't see her. Now behind the back dribble. Kicks it over along the baseline to Fisher for a shot that misses. Rebound in the corner taken by Hutchison. Here she comes up court. Stops before she reaches half court. Gives it off now to Mackey. A smaggy Mackey. Back to Hutchison, about 25 feet away. To Marissa Mackey. To the left side to Lemke. They're looking for Bell. They find her. Bell traveled. Got it to the baseline. Gives it off to Maggie Mackey for three. Good. Annabelle Scrabble did not have a not get called. Out of the lead is 10, 33-23. Here's a pass ahead to Dean off her hand. Tries to save it, does. Bounces to Rucker, down low. Pass taken by Armstrong. She's tied up. Possession goes to Ottawa, though. Brooke Frazier into the Lewisburg lineup. Elsie Bones will replace Armstrong for Ottawa. Look, look. It's an out high to fall over the ball. Knocked away and stolen by Maggie Mackey. She'll drive it into the lane and score. She's got six all in this quarter. And Cliff McCullough needs a timeout. 3.34 to play, third period. Ottawa 33 and Lewisburg 25. We're back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. Your home is your castle, and you need to take care of that castle, no matter how big or small it is. So when it's time to call an electrician, why not choose the best? Call the professionals at Performance Electric. They offer service jobs. Maybe you have a remodel. In addition, you need to have rewired. Or maybe you have a large farm job and need a large bucket truck. They can do that, too. The licensed electricians at Performance Electric can get in, get your job done quickly and correctly. Give them a call today. Performance Electric, 242-5748. Lewisburg on a bit of a run here. They're back with 10 8 after falling behind 14 earlier in the period. <laughs> Ottawa's ball along the baseline and backcourt. Bounced into Baldwin, who's immediately double teamed. And our pass is stolen by Hutchison. Hutchison driving, knocked away by Baldwin, but Lewisburg for a foul.
shooting foul will send Lark Hutchison to the free throw line for two. That was an unforced error there by Jordan Ball with a poor pass. Free throw Hutchison is short. Fifth Ottawa team foul. That's important also. Second one for Hutchison. Good. She has five on the evening. And a foul thrown right through Elsie Bones' legs on the inbound. The Cyclones are unraveling here right before our eyes. And it comes to Hutchison. And then she throws it away. Brooke Frazier was not looking for the pass. And the 17th Lewisburg turnover. That's a break for the Cyclones. And a bad pass on the inbound. Knocked out of bounds. It will stay with Ottawa. That was a break for the Cyclones. It was a poorly thrown pass by Rucker trying to get the ball down the sidelines to Dean. And it comes to Baldwin. Cyclones need to get themselves settled here. Their lead is seven. Baldwin on the dribble. Gives it up to Dean right wing. Dean takes it back out top. Gives it up to Fisher. Kylie along the baseline. Dumps inside to LC Bones. Back out to Baldwin. Baldwin swings it. Free throw line extended to Rucker. Back to Baldwin. Baldwin being guarded now by Carly Houchin. Fisher with it. Looks. Free throw line to Rucker. Rucker looks to penetrate. Gets it off to Baldwin. Baldwin swings it out top to Dean. Dean to the bucket. Who should be fouled on the shot? Go no, check that. It'll be on the floor before the shot. Foul is on Marissa Mackey. That's her third. Second team foul. Dean gets it in to Rucker. Swings it outside. That's a bad pass, but take it by Fisher. Over, and then Fisher throws it over the head of Baldwin out of bounds. Riley Field will come in for Autumn, but she's going to replace Kylie Fisher. Lewisburg cut the lead to five or possibly four. Marissa Rettmack with it. Left side it goes to Houchin. Houchin. Gets pass over to Marissa Mackey. Three ball, too hard. Rebound to Baldwin. She fouled. Then she pushed off. Here's a pass ahead to Deal. Deal into the lane to Elsie Bones. Back out to Deal. Now Baldwin outside the arc on the right wing. Baldwin pushed off again. Now shoots a triple. Missed it. Rebound Rucker in the lane. She was fouled. No whistle. Off the glass and good. Both teams unhappy down the other end with the officiating. First, there was a foul on Lewisburg that wasn't called. Then Jordan Baldwin got away with a push-off. Here's a foul on a drive by Marissa Mackey. I believe that's going to be on Jordan Baldwin. It'll be her third. No, they're going to call it on Rucker. That's her first. It's a shooting foul. Marissa Mackey will go to the line for the first time tonight. Free throw is off the heel of the rim. No good. Armstrong back in for Ottawa. She replaces Elsie Bone. And a 47 to play in the third period. Ottawa's lead is nine. Second one for Marissa Mackey. That one's going to miss also. We're going to wave it off. Lane violation called against Lewisburg. And so no free throw. Ottawa's basketball. And it comes to Baldwin. That was a dangerous pass. Franklin's are throwing some poor passes here in the third quarter. Swings it ahead to Dean. Dean in the front court. Gets it to Deal. Deal in the lane to Rucker. Rucker outside to Dean for a 15-footer too hard. Rucker rebounds inside. Brings it back out. Deal. Get past that. The bad pass stolen by Mackey of Lewisburg. Deal tried to force that ball inside to Hope Armstrong. There's the Mackey across the timeline with a minute 18 to play in the period. Mackey, left side to Houchin. Houchin got a pick from Mackey, stops inside the lane, whistles, traveled with it. Again, 
Again, Wolf Circle set up full court pressure. And it comes to Riley Deal ahead. The ball went up a dangerous pass. She's triple team. Gets it back over to Deal ahead to Rucker. Now to Dean. Dean stops, looks for help, and she's going to be fouled. Lewisburg foul is going to be called against Annabelle, her third personal and third team foul. Paige Widener replaces Rucker for Ottawa. Ottawa needs to be smart with the basketball here. And it comes to Baldwin. She'll shoot over Frazier and score. 21 for Jordan Baldwin. And the Cyclones lead is double digits again, 37-26. The Mackey calls the play, looks for a high pick from Bell, drives, Widener didn't help, Bell missed the shot, rebound taken by Jocelyn Dean, here she comes one-on-one -on -one with Houchin, into the lane, throws up the jumper, no good, Houchin fouled her. First foul on Carly Houchin. Jocelyn Dean will be at the line, shooting a couple here. Fourth team foul against Lewisburg. First free throw rattles out. Dean's the 5 4 junior. Second charity attempt is missing. Rebound, Brooke Frazier. Here's Marissa Mackey inside 30 seconds to play in the period. Over it goes to Hutchinson, who's back in the lineup. Now to Bell, near the far sideline, dumped into Frazier. Double team, missed the shot, rebound to Widener. 17 on the clock. Jordan Baldwin will bring it up with 14. Across the timeline with 11. It's a pick from Deal. Stop, throws up a three, missed it. Rebound, Frazier, four seconds, ball knocked away. And now a foul on Baldwin in backcourt. And that's the third foul on Jordan Baldwin, but maybe more importantly, it's a one and one as it's the seventh auto a team foul. Baldwin probably should not have gone after that. Hutchison will shoot the one and one with two seconds left in the period. Lewisburg will get the ball first in the fourth quarter, barring a tie up here in the last two seconds. So Hutchison can make the lead single digits with Lewisburg getting the ball first in the fourth period. Free throw attempt is good. Six now for Hutchison. Second free throw rolls in. And it comes to Baldwin. She will not get a shot off. That's the end of the third quarter. And our score, Ottawa 37, Lewisburg 28. We're back in a minute. This is Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. The Walmart Distribution Center is a proud sponsor of this. Maggie Mackey and Bell for Lewisburg. First of Mackey over to Lemke, far sideline. Out to Maggie Mackey. Maggie Mackey, look, gives it off to Marissa Mackey. Just to drive into the lane, running one-hander, partially blocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Wildcats. They're trying to open up penetration in the middle with their motion offense. Lemke gets it into Bell, shoots over Armstrong and misses Armstrong, rebounds for Ottawa. Good defense there by Hope Armstrong. Jordan Baldwin across the timeline. And off the hands of Deal. Deal just didn't concentrate on that pass. 17th out of a turnover. And they're seventh of this half. Check that. The eighth of the half. Chance again for Lewisburg to eat into the Ottawa lead. Over to Hutchison it goes. Here there's Lewisburg bench to Maggie Mackey. Dumps down low, but that's a bad pass. Stolen by Baldwin. Here's Jordan Baldwin up court along the baseline to Rucker. Shoots off the glass and scores. Six for Alexis Rucker and a nice pass on the assist to Baldwin. Ursa Mackey directing traffic. Goes right side to Hutchison. 
Hutchinson swings it out top to Lemke. Now to Maggie Mackey. Now look for something underneath. It's not there. Instead, Maggie Mackey drives. Gives it off to the middle. She's Marissa Mackey. Marissa Mackey into the lane. All the way to the bucket. Blocked from behind by Baldwin. Jordan pulls it out of the, of the air. And then she's fouled by Marissa Mackey. That'll be the fourth foul on Marissa Mackey. The fifth team foul on Lewisburg. <laughs> Rucker will get it into Deal. Deal back to Rucker. Swings it over to Maggie Bones. Now ahead to Baldwin. Three on two now. Baldwin in the lane. Bounces to Armstrong. Shot off the glass is good. Another nice assist by Jordan Baldwin. The first two of the night for Hope Armstrong. And the Cyclone lead back to 13. 41-28. 6.20 to play. Marissa Mackey. Left side to Lemke. Lemke backdoor cut, taken by Marissa Mackey, shoots and misses. Rucker has the rebound for Ottawa. Baldwin pushes it up court, along the right sideline, gives it off to Maggie Bones, brings her line to Rucker, down low, pass gets away nicely by Bell, but then on the floor, and a whistle and a tie-up, and possession will go to Ottawa. Or they're going to call a foul. Foul on Lewisburg, Maggie Mackey. So it will not even be the tie-up. Otto gets it back on the foul, the sixth against the Wildcats here in the second half. Steele looks to get it in, does the ball one. Ball one through traffic, finds Steele underneath. Shot is off the glass and good. And Jordan Baldwin, who's being doubled and triple teamed, are finding open teammates for easy buckets. 5.43 to play in the basketball game. Where's the Mackey on the dribble? Looks to penetrate. Takes to the left block. Gets it out to Hutchinson. Now to Maggie Mackey. Maggie Mackey drives. She's cut off in the corner. Marissa Mackey. Marissa Mackey looking down low. Then Baldwin knocks it out of bounds. Brick Frazier into the Wildcat lineup. She'll replace Annabelle. Marissa Mackey gets it into Lemke. Almost lost with it. With a pick from Frazier, drives inside, knocked away by Deal, and then Riley fouled as she went after the loose ball. Good hustle play by Deal right there. They're going to call the foul, actually, on Alexis Rucker. That'll be her second personal. Maggie Mackey will be at the line, shooting one and one on the eighth Ottawa team foul. Mackey's free throw is too hard. Rebound taken by Bones. Ahead to Baldwin. Baldwin, two on three. Takes to the left block. This is cross court to Deal. Now free throw line to Armstrong. Hope will put up the jumper. Had it partially blocked by Frazier, but Frazier got a piece of her. And she'll go to the line for two. throw Armstrong's too hard. Carly Houchin into the Lewisburg lineup, replacing Maggie Mackey. 43-28 Ottawa, 5.08 to play. It's a lot of time left. Second one for Armstrong is no good. Frazier has the rebound. Ottawa now four of nine from the line here this evening. Marissa Mackey over to Lemke. Entry pass to Frazier. Bounces it outside the Houchin. Shoots over Bones and hits it. First two tonight for Carly Houchin. And that makes it 43 to 30. Baldwin looking to avoid a double team. Swings it ahead to Rucker. Or to Bones. Now to Rucker. Rucker will give it up to Baldwin out near midcourt with 434 to play. Over it goes to Deal. Deal, free throw line to Armstrong. Down low, pass stolen by Marissa Mackey. Roseburg was looking for that one. Here's Marissa Mackey to Hutchison for a 15-foot shot that's in. And the Ottawa lead back down to 11. Still 4.17 to go. Rucker gives it off to Maggie Bones. Maggie into Baldwin's hand. Baldwin swings it ahead to Deal. Deal has wide, both arms are wide open. Puts Marissa Mackey in the air, shoots and misses. Rebound, Maggie Bones tried to follow, can't get the ball, almost considered her fifth foul. Rebound to Lewisburg. So 
and so the caps has come within single digits here. Entry pass to Frazier. Frazier shoots and misses. Rebound to ball. When that ball was halfway down, team back out. Take break for the Cyclones. Baldwin pushes it into front court. Out top to Bones. Now to Deal. Deal swings the free throw line to Armstrong. Shot on the way. Too hard. Rebound to Lark Hutchison. Armstrong had an open 15 footer. Couldn't get the ball. There's some Mackey. Looking to drive. Gets it off to Houchin in the corner. Houchin. Bounces it to Hutchison, who's fouled by Deal. Riley Deal picks up her third foul. It is the ninth team foul and a one and one for Lark Hutchison. Hutchison tonight from the line is five for six. Check that, five for seven. Kelsey Bones into the Ottawa lineup, replacing Armstrong. 3-10 to go, Ottawa up 11. Hutchison's free throw is good. She's in double figures with 10. Second free throw, Hutchison is short. Frazier rebounds, missed it. Rebound to L.C. Bones. Ottawa did not walk out at all onto the defensive glass that time. Here's Baldwin looking to spin on Houchin. Does, crosses the timeline to Maggie Bones to Deal. Deal swings it off to L.C. Bones. She'll drive in, give it off to Maggie Bones. Free throw line, Deal, back over to Baldwin. Baldwin brings it back outside with 2.44 to play. Jordan gives it off to Maggie Bones to deal left sideline. Free throw line to Elsie Bones. Elsie is going to be stopped in play because Ottawa calls a timeout. 2.34 to play in the game. The score is Ottawa 43, Lewisburg 33. We're back after this one minute break. You're listening to Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. <laughs> That's right, February is now February. Any, every mouthwatery moment of every delicious day, all month long, any regular footlong is a $5 footlong. From the double bacon, egg, and cheese on flatbread to the chicken and bacon ranch. Come on, join the celebration. Excludes premium sandwiches, prices, and participation may vary. All right, ladies, no time to be hiding behind those sweatshirts and sweatpants. It's time to get ready for bikini season. Yep, I said it. Let's get those bikini bodies ready. Join the Ottawa Nautilus today. They offer aerobics classes, everything from Zumba to steps to kickboxing and Pilates. They have weight machines, free weights, and treadmills with TVs on them. So what are you waiting for? Call the Ottawa Nautilus today at 242-3537 and start getting ready for bikini season. 234 to play. Ottawa with two timeouts remaining. Lewisburg has all five of their timeouts left. And it'll be Ottawa's basketball near their bench. And it comes to Baldwin being guarded by Houch. Swings it out between the circles of Maggie Bones. Over to Deal. Knocked away and a steal. Here comes Lefty being chased by Maggie Bones. Shoots and misses. Rebound Elsie Bones. What a huge break. Maggie Bones was chasing. Lefty was risking picking up her fifth foul, but Lefty could get the shot to fall. Now ball out of bounds, and they'll say Feld will bounce it out of there, but there was a hand check by Houchin, but they didn't call. Two oh seven to play, a 10-point Ottawa lead. Lewisburg with the basketball. Here's Marissa Mackey stopping outside the arc, still on the dribble. Takes it to the left corner to Houchin. Houchin got a pick, gives it up to Lemke. Lemke dribbles in, off-balance shot rolls in for Emily Lemke, her first two of the night. And it's an eight-point lead, a minute 50 to play. Ottawa nearly gave away a similar lead at Lewisburg earlier this year. Baldwin on the dribble, looking to avoid a triple team, swings it over to Deal near the Ottawa sideline, now to Rucker. Rucker gets it back into Baldwin's hands, the clock down to minute 36. Here's Maggie Bones to Deal. Deal looks, finds Rucker at the free throw line. Cross court to Maggie Bones. Maggie, one dribble back into Baldwin's hands with a minute 24. Now Rucker looks down low, nothing there. Instead, the deal between the circles. 
Baldwin on the right wing outside the arc. Out top, it's Maggie Bones. Left side, it's Deal. Deal swings it to Rucker out top. Right side to Maggie Bones. Maggie is fouled by Lark Hutchinson. With a minute and nine to go, and Ottawa was able to run some time, and Lewisburg let him do just that. Maggie Bones will shoot a one-and-one one here. Jocelyn Dean into the Ottawa lineup, replacing Riley Deal. Big first free throw here for Maggie Bones. Ottawa's lead is 8, 43-35. Maggie calmly gets the first one. She has nine points tonight. Second free throw by Bones, up and in. 45-35. Just a little over a minute to play. Marissa Mackey looks to drive. Lost control of the basketball, got it to Houchin. Houchin in the lane to Hutchison, and a foul called on Dean of Ottawa. That's the 10th Ottawa team foul. So a double bonus for Lark Hutchison. Dean picks up her fourth personal. So Hutchinson's line for two. She's leading Lewisburg tonight with 10 points. First of two is good. Makes it 45-36. And timeout call for by Valerie Still. 58 seconds to play. It is Ottawa 45, Lewisburg 36. We're back in 30 seconds. This is Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. From people's bank field at Ottawa University to basketball halftime promotions to throwing out souvenir footballs, we at People's believe that public schools and collegiate sports add a quality of life to our area. Hi, this is Margie Hindeleiter with People's Bank in Ottawa. And just like our commitment to these sports teams, we are committed to helping you reach your financial goals. I invite you to come see what Banking Unusual can mean for you. With two Ottawa locations and seven other locations across northeast Kansas, you're banking with people you know and trust. Check us out online at bankingunusual.com, where you can bank 24 hours a day from almost anywhere. People's Bank, member FDIC. Nine-point Ottawa lead, 45 will have one more free throw. Ottawa needs to make sure they block out on this free throw here. Anna Bell's back in for Lewisburg. Hutchinson's second free throw is good, and now the Cyclones will need to get the ball inbound. And it's going to come into Baldwin, who's immediately double teamed and fouled. And is it on Hutchinson? If so, it's her fifth. No, it's going to be called on Houchin. Or two on her. One and one for Jordan Baldwin. And once again, the front end of this opportunity, very important. The ninth team foul against Lewisburg. Baldwin hits the first. She has 22 points in the game. 17 of those in the first period. She had all 17 out of a point in the first quarter. Since that time, they've doubled and triple teamed her. Second free throw rolls in for Baldwin. Makes it a 10-point game again with 56 seconds to play. Back the up court quickly for the Wildcats. Looks to penetrate. Gives it off in the corner to Lemke. Lemke into the lane, all the way to the bucket. Shoots and rattles it out. That's a big miss. Ottawa rebound. And now Lewisburg's going to have to foul. Ball comes ahead to Maggie Bones. Maggie gives it back to Baldwin. And already Lewisburg's left too much time run off. Here's Dean with it. Dean looking for help. Still looking for help. Now dribbles, loses control of the basketball, steal, but stolen right back by Rucker. It's off her hand, and out of bounds. We'll see what they call. The two officials will defer. It is a turnover on Ottawa. They're 21st of the night, but the clock down to 21 seconds to go. So Ottawa was able to run off a lot of time, even though they didn't get a chance to score. Hutchinson on the right wing. Hutchinson drives in. You know, she'll shoot on the run and miss. Baldwin rebounds. That's going to wrap it up. Cyclones are going to move to 12 and 3 on the season, and stay perfect in the Frontier League at 7 and 0. Baldwin across the timeline. The clock will run out. As a final score here from the Cyclones Gymnasium, Ottawa 47, Lewisburg 37. We're back after this. You're listening to Cyclone Basketball on KOFO. Sales, service, savings, always at Sears of Ottawa. 
All the top brands like Hidmore, GE, Whirlpool, Maytag, Frigidaire, LG, Amana, and KitchenAid. Washers and dryers, dishwashers, refrigerators, and freezers. Ranges, cooktops, and built-in ovens. Sci-fi.